Hey, I'm Roman. It's been a while since I've posted a video on this channel and actually recording a video that explains it. And plus, I started the second channel on the YouTube where I do live coding videos and right now I'm studying the neural networks from scratch and I'm recording the whole process and at the end I want to record a video for this channel that will explain why I did this and what was the intention and what was the outcome. I will put the link into the description so you can subscribe to the second one too. And today I wanted to record the video that I wanted to record next for, for this channel but I got distracted very much by finding one report. I accidentally found the report from US Bureau of Labor Statistics, which is a department in the United States that gathers a lot of the information about the job market. And for example, in this record, they made a prediction. And this report was about the in-demanding jobs for the next decade up to 2000. 32. US is not the whole world, but it's one of the biggest markets for the software engineers. And they have lots of the tech companies within the country. And regarding the tech industry and the software engineering in general, it still makes sense to analyze this report, even if it's targeting one country. But this country is one of the biggest regarding the software engineering and Many trends that you see happening in the US regarding the like software engineering tech industry itself, it's going to be spread into different countries. Not all of the countries, but most of the countries, I would say, regarding the tech industry. And if you take a look at this prediction, you will see that they state that the most demanding job will be the home health and the personal care. And I'm not going to discuss here this first position regarding the health and the personal care, but I would say that I'm not surprised. But the second one is, surprise, surprise, it's software developers. So despite the AI hysteria in the social media, and I have a video about this, you can find the link in the description. Despite the fact that it's actually easier to learn coding today than, for example, it used to be even 10 years ago. And yes, I have another video about this and you can find the link into the description. The prediction is still the same. We need more and more software engineers. This is very interesting because of this AI hysteria, like lots of the people were screaming that AI will take over our software engineering jobs. And once the hype started to go down, we see that it's not actually like this. And I was really glad to see this prediction. Of course, it's just a prediction. We, I mean, nobody knows the future, but the interesting part that the demand is still here and it will be increasing. Yes, I would not argue that the software engineering job will be the same, like, for example, as it used to be even two years ago. I don't think it stayed the same. And I do agree that some flavors of the software engineering probably will be more automated or maybe will be gone for you know forever and maybe we'll use you know these ai tools like you know copilot and stuff like this to generate more code rather than type it but it's still you cannot discard the fact that you still have to be a you know a software engineer to understand how to apply all of these tools and how to actually build systems. So again, I would not argue with the fact that the job itself might be, well, probably it will change. Maybe it will be changed a lot, maybe not. And maybe it's just the next step of, you know, of the evolution of the software engineering. Plus, probably the salaries will be adjusted comparing to the previous decade, because I think in the previous decade, software engineers salaries was way higher than average among the most of other crafts, but not specifically engineering, but just among other crafts. So maybe we, what we see right now is just a adjusting of the salaries, but it doesn't mean that we won't need the software engineers at all. For example, if you have a question, 
Should I learn coding or should I learn software development or software engineering in 2024? The answer is yes. And you can see that there are, the more tech industry progresses, the more demand is for good software engineers. I mean, on one hand, the, the bar of how you can enter the tech industry and, for example, the software engineering specifically is lowering because there are tons of the free resources how you can learn coding. You don't have to go to the university and you can actually, I would say, learn this craft for free. The only question is if you're ready to do this. But on the other hand, the demand of Having a good engineer is increasing, so I think there is a there is a gap between when you started to be a software engineer and when you you know became a good software engineer. That this gap is increasing. That I mean, I would not argue with this, but still, if you want to go into software engineering, like you want to do code, you want to build systems, the answer is yes, you still can do this, and. At least for now, I would I see that the demand is still high. But still, software engineers are not going anywhere. We definitely need to adjust for the new era of AI tools and probably we'll need to understand what will be our place in building the software using these like big LLMs and new tools. But there still will be high demand. We'll see. Maybe this prediction is incorrect. Uh, you know, there is always a probability that everyone is wrong and maybe I'm wrong. But when I'm talking to other software engineers and like to people who are, I consider like way better than me, uh, way stronger as in, in software engineering, they all agree that AI tools are good. They can automate a lot of the things but they cannot replace a good software engineer. So yeah, if you're still considering going into software engineering and you kind of have a fear of this AI movement and other things, don't be afraid, just be ready to contribute into the craft. But yeah, don't be afraid and let's go and do some coding. But for now, thank you for watching. It's good to be back. Uh, I haven't recorded for more than two weeks, so I will try to catch up with more videos on this channel. And for now, I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.